It's a sweet idea in its fledgling stages. My first market is Saturday at UBC, so I'll be at that farmer's market. The start of her vegan ice cream business is a big step for Elaine Lynn. Until recently, she spent a year in hospital. I was struggling really bad with my suicidality, so I was having like suicidal attempts multiple times a day and just unable to keep myself safe because of how bad I was doing mentally. In March, she was strong enough to move into supportive transitional housing with mental health care staff on site. She was informed at the outset the facility would close on July 31st. But BC Housing also promised that they guaranteed us all housing before July 31st of equal or similar value and that's not been followed through. The 21 second floor units leased from Easter Seals House are funded by BC Housing and operated by Coast Mental Health. Since 2021, the lease and services have been extended year by year until now. Our team focuses so, so many resources on doing our best to match people with the housing that will best meet their need. The reality of it is there's there's not enough housing in British Columbia. BC Housing says residents have been offered multiple options for new housing. So far I've been offered housing that is like heavily substance use focused, so a lot of active users there. I've been offered a place in Richmond, which is out of the vicinity I specified. According to BC Housing, six residents have already been moved. Others will be supported to move this week. We don't understand why this is happening and this is the lack of communication and the refusal to work and cooperate with us has caused nothing but mental and emotional stress and pain to every single one. I have tenants coming to me every day asking me what to do. The fear is the promise of equal quality housing is about to become no housing at all. For myself, it's very hard to see my life like past July 31st. I have no idea where I'm going. Bell Peary, CBC News, Vancouver.